Hi, good morning friends. Uh, today in this video, uh, we are going to learn a figure of speech. Here, figure of speech are very important in the question, in the appreciation of the poem. There is given one question of appreciation of the poem in our board examination. Uh, there are five marks. Uh, for example, title of the poem, poet of the poem, rhyme scheme of the poem, rhyme scheme of the poem, figure of speech of the poem and central idea of the poem. Five marks are given for appreciation of the poem. So here in this period, we are going to learn the important topic that is figure of speech. Students, figure of speech is very, very interesting topic. We have to learn very carefully. Here, before uh, begin to learn the topic figure of speech, we should know the meaning of the meaning of the figure of speech. Here, figure of speech, it is a word or a phrase that possesses a separate meaning from its the literal definition. In what way? Here, this is a Bhashala Samdari Prapta Kuru Dena Sati. This is a Artha Purna Ki Rachna Karne. Tell us, Mahati Madhe, Apan Alankara Samuntu. This is a Apan Vegula Prakash Daigini Pradhan Kurdu. सुंदर दिसने सके त्यास पद्धति न भाषे मध्य सुधा अलं भाषे मध्य सुधा अलंकार वापर लेना भाषे से सुंदर वार्ता है त्यास साथी फिगर स्पीचेस खूब महत्वपूर्ण आस्था आपने लाख परीक्षा में देख देर इज नो नीड टू राइट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फिगर स्पीच हियर वी हैव टू लाइन वी हैव टू मेंशन ओनली द काइंड और there is given simile. In simile, students, first we should know what is simile. Simile means when in a sentence there is a comparison between two different objects, there is used the figure of speech simile. Simile, Marathi Vida Pintala, Upama Alankara Samantotpa. There are given two examples of simile. Number one, life is just like a dream. In the figure of speech, simile, there is use of like, as or so. So, these words are very important to understand or to identify the figure of speech, simile. Here, there are given important examples. Simile, first example is, life is just like a dream. The jivan, here, and second example is given there, our soldiers are as brave as wine means aple sainik he siha sarke shur ahet in first sentence there is a use like and in second sentence as as manje aple lakshat yeto jar dilelya vakya madhe jar like as and so cha jar upyog kela asel tar tema figure of speech simile asto and simile la apan upama alankar asa manto ata second type there is given one second type that is called metaphor. Here, first we should know what is metaphor. Metaphor. Here, metaphor means a, an indirect comparison is made between two different objects. That is the use of metaphor. Or that is called the figure of speech metaphor. The metaphor in Marathi we can call it Rupak Alankar. Jamwa Don. विशिष्ट वस्तु मधे जावरेस सामने दाखोले लास्ट अतो उदार नाम दे थे हे पाहा लाइफ इज अ ड्रीम मुझे जीवन है सपना है एंड सेकंड एग्जांपल इज देयर माय मदर इज अ गॉडेस माय सी आई मुझे देवता आहे इन दिस वे देयर इज अ फिगर ऑफ स्पीच यूज्ड इन द गिवन सेंटेंस लाइक लाइफ इज अ ड्रीम एंड माय मदर इज अ गॉडेस Next students, we have to know the third type that is called personification. Personification in Marathi we can call it a chetna gunokti alankar. See, when in a sentence, when we refer to inanimate objects, ideas, emotions as living things, that is the use or example of personification. Jama, apan kanyurju vastunna. Sajivanchi gunobai shishti deto. But, students, it is very important. Personification is Chetna Gunokti Alankar. Jama, apan Mirjiv Vastu Runa Sajivanchi Gunobai Shishti Deto. Jama, apan figure of speech, 
पर्सोनिफिकेशन असं म्हणतो देर आर गिव्हन सम इम्पॉर्टंट एक्झाम्पल्स होप इज द थिंग विथ फिदर्स आशेला उमेदीचे पंख असतात आता हेअर होप इज द थिंग विथ फिगर्स अँड सेकंड स्टार्स डान्स इन द स्काय स्टार्स डान्स इन द स्काय म्हणजे आकाशामध्ये स्टार्स नी नृत्य केले आता डान्स आता आपल्याला ऍक्च्युली माहित आहे का स्टार्स हे डान्स करतात माहिती नाही पण देर इज गिव्ह द कम्पॅरिझन देर इज देर इज गिव्ह इम्पॉर्टंट फीचर्स ऑफ इनएनिमेट ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऍज अ लिव्हिंग थिंग दॅट इज कॉल्ड फिगर ऑफ स्पीच पर्सॉनिफिकेशन नेक्स्ट स्टुडंट नेक्स्ट टाइप इज अलिटरेशन हे अलिटरेशन इज अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट अँड व्हेरी इजी टाइप ऑफ फिगर ऑफ स्पीच हे अलिटरेशन मीन्स व्हेन इन अ सेंटेन्स देर इज अ रिपिटेशन ऑफ द बिगिनिंग साऊंड देर इज रिपिटेशन ऑफ द बिगिनिंग साऊंड ऑफ द नेबरिंग वर्ड्स दॅट इज कॉल्ड फिगर ऑफ स्पीच अलिटरेशन हेअर चिल्ड्रन जेव्हा आपण दिलेल्या वाक्यातील काही शब्दांची सुरुवात ही सारख्या अक्षरापासून झालेली असते तेव्हा आपण फिगर ऑफ स्पीच अल्टरेशन असं म्हणतो अल्टरेशनला आपण अनुप्रास अलंकार असं म्हणतो आता फॉर एक्झाम्पल इन गिव्हन सेंटेन्स हिअर सी ही हिट हिज हेड अगेन्स्ट द वॉल ही हिट हिज हेड मीन्स फोर वर्ड्स आर दिअर स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द सेम लेटर सेम साऊंड दॅट इज कॉल यच ही हिट हिज हेड अगेन्स्ट द वॉल नेक्स्ट स्टुडंट हिअर सेकंड एक्झाम्पल इज यूज वुड्स आर लवली डार्क अँड डीप फ्रॉम द पोएम स्टॉपिंग बाय वुड्स ऑन स्नो इन इव्हनिंग रॉबर्ट फर्स्ट बाय रॉबर्ट फर्स्ट हेअर वुड्स आर लवली डार्क अँड डीप हेअर स्टुडंट हेअर डी अँड हेअर डी वुड्स आर लवली डार्क अँड डीप नाव नेक्स्ट स्टुडंट नेक्स्ट टाइप देर इज यूज देर इज कॉल्ड रिपिटेशन वेन रिपिटेशन मीन्स एक पुनरोक्य अलंकार हेअर रिपिटेशन in when in a sentence words are repeated for example there are going to examples when in a figure of speech repetition when words are repeated in the given sentence there is used figure of speech called repetition see example students here rain rain here rain and rain here words are repeated so there is a figure of speech called repetition and second i want to show many small 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 moons of light here two words are repeated like small and small in first example rain 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 go away means when sentence are repeated when that time there is a figure of speech called repetition in this in this period we have learned a few figure of speech like simile metaphor personification alliteration and repetition students you should study at home remaining kind of the figure of speech we have to see in the next video thank you